What's good? It's your boy G. Back with another OPTV blog. We're going to talk about this uh, last playoff push. Last spot. MVP race. We're going to touch on the Yankees and A-Rod a little bit. Let's get it popping. Let's go. Alright, so um, first thing we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about this MVP race. Should it go to Steph? Should it go to James? I'm not even going to include LeBron James. Just not going to. He hasn't really been in the talks like that, so I'm not even going to include him. Um, of course, we all know what Steph can do. He's a he's a beast. He's a beast. But he ain't no James Harden as far as James Harden had to. Had to put up them numbers with the team he had. Had to get them wins with the team he had without Howard. Sometimes with Howard. Even with Howard, it was without Howard. Because Howard, Howard is, you know what I mean, a non-factor at this point right now with the Houston Rockets. You ask me. Um, so, I, me personally, I think the MVP should go to James Harden. Just off of the work he put in. The position he put his team in. I think um, he deserves it. Steph Curry did his thing this year, but he already got a squad. You know what I'm saying he got he got he got Clay, Bogut, Eagle Dollar, Green. He got he got a couple of cats over there that can help him. Russell Westbrook, yeah, I, I will consider him also, but he still has a team also, and he had Kevin Durant. For the most part, too, with him this season. So, I still say I'm giving it to Harden, though. You know what I'm saying? Out of Steph, Westbrook, LeBron. I think James Harden deserved that MVP, and I think he's going to get the MVP. That's my take on it. Um, This playoff push, man. Got like two games left, I think, before the uh before that uh playoff start, right? So, we got... um. We got the Pacers trying to creep in there. Trying to creep in there. They're trying to take Brooklyn's spot. Um, Miami, I don't think they 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 non factor. Um, but I think I think I think Brooklyn can hold a spot, but the Pacers is trying to push. We'll see. OKC might have a chance, being that my man Russ, they gave him a tech last night. I'm saying that would have been um his sixteenth tech of the year. That means you get suspended the next game, you know, for, for, for a game. And uh, he would have got suspended for tonight's game where they need him real bad. So they actually took that away, and he doesn't, he, he doesn't, he didn't get charged with that tech. So he's good. He's still, he still got them 15 techs. Um, so we can see what OKC going to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Being that Russ, Russ got that, uh, got, got that, that weight lifted off his shoulder a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He can play tonight. So we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? We'll see if, uh, if 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 Russ and OKC can can, can do it. Pelicans lost bad last night. They were supposed to lose last night. But they lost bad last night to Houston. You know what I'm saying? So it's real, it's real close though. It's real close. It's real close. I'm hoping Pelicans get the goal. I'm really hoping OKC get the goal. I want to see some more uh, Russell Westbrook for the rest of the season. So kind of hoping both go uh, more. You know, more OKC because I want to see my man Russ get busy. But the Pelicans, they're a young team, and my man Anthony Davis is nice. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you always want to give somebody else an opportunity also. But anyway, they won't make it out the first round, I promise you. The Pelicans go, they won't make out the first round because they'll, they'll probably play the Warriors in that first round, and it's not happening. Just saying. Steph Curry going to be shooting all day on them. My man D, D, uh, Dwight Howard got those charges dropped on him today, too, with that child, child abuse case. Um, I, I think it's unfortunate as an athlete um, – you can't discipline your child the way you want to, or maybe the way you were disciplined. Um, I was, I've, I've gotten beatings. I've been on punishment. Um, I even punished my kids. I might give my one of my kids a, a beating every now and then, um, but I'm going around abusing them. I'm going around leaving marks on them. Um, my thing is, um, with, with professional athletes and just professional entertainers and stars like that, they're always in the limelight, and the first thing. That people can get their hands on that's negative they get it they run with it and that's like i guess 
sort of the same situation here with D. Howard. I don't think he um I don't think he meant any bad intentions on his kid on chastising him or disciplining him. It's, you know, just so you know he's a big guy, he's a little heavy handed. And maybe next time he needs to reconsider, maybe you know, approach it differently. But um as of now they dropped the charges on that child abuse case, so that's a good look for him and prayers go out to him and his family over there. With that, um, we're gonna we're gonna move on to uh to the Yankees, man. Like the Yankees is pretty okay right now. I think they three and four right now, two and four, three and four, one or the other. They uh they won that Boston series this weekend, two to one. They won Friday night, lost Saturday. No, they lost Friday, won Saturday and Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, but we still got that series. We won that. Um, a Rod did, did did real good, did real good in this series. Um. Will A Rod will A Rod continue this play throughout the rest of the season? Will the Yankees continue this play throughout the whole season? You know, it's a lot of games in baseball, so you know we don't know. Only time will tell. The reason why I'm talking about it because I am a New Yorker, and by me being a New Yorker, I am a Yankees fan. As you see, got it tatted for life. Um, and I'm a New Yorker for life, so I you know I just want to touch on, on on the Yankees. Will the Yankees continue this play? Will A-Rod continue his hitting? Um, he's looking pretty good, though. I ain't going front, man. He's looking pretty good, man. He's looking pretty good. I'm actually surprised. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually surprised that A-Rod is doing what he's doing. But he's doing what he's doing. And, 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 and hats off to him. He's doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? What else we going to talk about? One of the best things about driving is being able to stop. Get up to $100 back by mail. Harton is getting that MVP. Okay, so he's going to get that A spot because the Pelicans are going to lose their next two or their next or their last game or their next two. I doubt it. <laughs> I'm just talking. I'm just talking. Talking out the side of my neck right now. But we're going to see, man. There's two games left for, for, cert, for certain teams and there's one game left for certain teams. But we're going to see, man, uh, what's going to happen by the end of this week and who's in the playoffs, who's not. And then we're going to predict those um, – those games also. We're going to do that. And uh, that's about it, man, for this sports blog, man. OPTV, man. Holla at your boy. KO.